am so unbelievably tired today. I guess it's because I stayed at the 4 a.m. again. But I stayed at the 4 before. Oh god, I'm gonna sneeze, David. You just started the vlog. You know, tapping your nose really does help. I know, Maui. Anyway, guys, how are you? Happy Thursday. Most likely Friday for you. I was up late last night working on my project, um, but I sent an email to their support team and they responded within like 10 minutes with an answer. So that just made my night. So today, I'm looking very forward to doing just that, fixing what I couldn't do yesterday. Now we chill. But before I do anything, coffee. Coffee, coffee, coffee. I need it so bad right now. Also, you guys may seem higher than usual. It's because they're sitting on top of a quite exciting package. Let's just say it's one of the most unique products that I will unbox and review on my channel. It's pretty cool. You'll get the pun in a second. It's pretty cool. Yeah, stay tuned. What is his deal? Tomorrow you're gonna wake up, you gotta feel energized, have your coffee or whatever, and just feel good about yourself. Because life is way, way too short to dwell on things that don't plan. really matter. There you go. Today's vlog is live. Enjoy. I'm feeling more energized now. It's amazing what coffee can do for you. <sighs> if I can make sweet, sweet love to coffee, you guys know I would. I would knock so many coffee beans up, it's not even funny. Seriously guys, there would be like little coffee babies all over this world. It doesn't even make sense. I just love coffee, that's all I'm trying to say. Oh, by the way, someone mentioned in another vlog, David, that's not real coffee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. First of all, Relax. Second of all, real coffee is relative. This is not your typical K-cup. This is a single serve cup, like a one cup they call it. Look at this, with an actual filter and everything. And the bags are vacuum sealed, so you know they're as fresh as they possibly can be for the single serve type of coffee. So yes, it is real coffee, for me. That's like saying this isn't a real chair because it's not as high quality as your chair. No, this is a real chair. It's just not your definition of a real chair. All right, so what do you say we do some unboxings? I talked about this before, but now let's talk about this, which actually just arrived a little while ago. So two packages today. Let's do this. All right, I don't know if, okay, never mind. It's good. I was gonna ask like if the package, I mean, if the item is right in this box, but it's a box within a box, because I do wanna do a dedicated unboxing video on this. It's rather unique. And definitely something I could use. You'll see, you'll see. I think you guys will appreciate this. They emailed me asking if I wanted one. I was like, hell yeah. Oh God. And no, it's not a vajankal. Give me one day. This is Evapolar, Evapolar. I'm not sure how to say that. I'm gonna have to ask them. You're a perfect local microclimate. So basically, this is a personal air cooler that you leave on your desk, and it's supposed to keep your like immediate area nice and cool. And let's face it, guys, that's actually kind of perfect for this house. The AC works fairly well, like it's always hitting my feet. But sometimes, sometimes on like the hottest of days, the AC could be going all day and I barely get below 78 degrees on average. But I usually have it set to 76 during the day. I mean, at night it hits 76, no problem. But during the day, I could definitely use something like this. So let's unbox. Actually, is this the box within a box or a box within a box of another box? The product might be right in here. It is right in there. So David, close that up and I'll make a video on this later. Possibly today. So, cool. Shout out to Eva, Eva Polar for making this possible. By the way, it's gentle cooling, humidifies dry air, and it's a big one for me, and purifies the air around you. Oh, baby. I love purified air. And this just came today. I'm guessing it's Animal Crossing cards. Holy shit on a sandwich. Series four. Are you guys crazy? You just got me a series three pack the other day. And now you're series four. <laughs> I have so many cards to collect. 
Honestly, I don't know how many cards I'm going to end up buying. That's a lot of money to complete all these collections. But at least I have cards for Series 1, 2, 3, and 4 now. That is really cool. And of course, it's shout out time. There it is. Matt Krieger again! Dude, you're awesome. Hi, David. Thanks for all the free daily vlogs that you're creating and all the content that you create. Hope this will add some variety. From Matt Krieger, twitter.com slash Matt S. Krieger. Guys, follow him right below. And Matt, you are absolutely correct. This does indeed add some variety because this is my first ever Series 4 pack. <sighs> I have so many cards to collect. Matt, I appreciate this. Thank you very much. Follow him, guys. Just do it. Eating up leftovers from last night's dinner. Which I barely ate, by the way, because I went to ShopRite. And then I went to Wawa afterwards, and I was so hungry. Uh, so I got like a medium mac and cheese, which basically filled me up. Doesn't sound like much, but believe me, it's heavy in the stomach. All that mac, all that cheese, you know. So I barely ate dinner last night, besides the mac and cheese. Not that you guys care, I'm just kind of filling you in on useless information. So yeah, I'm gonna have lunch. And then get some work done on that website of mine. Food is ready. Let's all take a moment to appreciate our microwaves, our appliances, our refrigerators, our sinks, our ovens, our toasters. They do a lot of work for us, if you think about it. Seriously, guys, I mean, we gotta take that stuff for granted. I started being funny, but now this is turning into a serious thing. We're lucky to have these appliances, so... Just be fortunate for what you have. Especially the coffee makers of the world. I'll fill you with water soon, I promise. I promise. Everything's better with cheese. Even cheese. God, I love cheese. Lunch was good. Actually, no, it was meh. But hey, food is food. Focus. All right. So today's Thursday, which is typically my streaming day, and I usually stream over here. This is my dedicated streaming setup, but I only have an Xbox One here. Eventually, I'll get a PS4, a second PS4. But I was thinking, why not stream in here today? I mean, the lighting could suck, but I really, really want to stream No Man's Sky for you guys. It's just a very interesting game, and it's a very chill game, too, meaning it gives me time to talk to the chat room, answer questions and all that stuff. That's what I love about this game. It's just, it's a very chill experience. Your universe awaits. There's a lot of things I haven't even discovered yet. For instance, those big mechanical things, I don't know what the hell they are, but they look pretty cool. Last night, guys, I saw some weird shit. Man, the designers of this game were clearly on drugs. That's not necessarily a bad thing. We'll see. It's something I'll think about. I'll most likely do it. I just really love this setup right here. The cable management is a freaking joke, but I think I did a good job with this. Look at it, it just blends in very well. Except for all the drone stuff, I don't really have anywhere else to put them all. But yes, anyway, I have my books here, Mario there, my white Xbox One, which I absolutely love, and I'm still blown away that it just fits on this little end piece thing I bought. And then of course I have my two Asus monitors here. This one is always weighed down because the connect is heavy as hell. See, it's staying out. Oh, there it goes. That's yeah, okay. Also, over here is my Mega Man helmet from Arcade Block. It's a speaker. I told you guys in the unboxing that I would give you a demo in the uh, daily vlogs, but I have not done that yet. So let's do that right now. And what is this email? Let me see, let me see. No, I'm not interested. I hate when people bug me with their services. Especially like web design services. Do you really think I need your web design services? Thank you though, I appreciate it. Okay, so, here you go. Mega Man helmet. Three and a half millimeter connection, which we will soon not be able to use on the iPhone 7. There will be an adapter, calm down, calm down. So we do have USB, which means you have to power it. So let's move this over here. 
a little inconvenient, but eh, it's whatever. It's a freaking Mega Man helmet. You can't think too much. So let's go into Apple Music and let's get hit with copyright, shall we? Let's play Chill. It's working. Cool. Quality is fantastic. That's a joke. It's okay. It's meant to be fun. You're not gonna be throwing parties with this thing. Seriously now, that's pretty cool. And if you guys are ever curious about these stations I listen to on Apple Music, my favorite is probably Chill, um, which is right there. It's exactly what it sounds like. It's very chill music. That's basically the music I listen to if I'm working on a project, which is typically every day. I like to work, um, especially when blogging. I, I can't blog, be, blog, not vla, blog um, with music that has lyrics in it. I know that sounds weird, but if I'm typing words and listening to words, that just doesn't mix well with me. So chill is typically a lot of instrumental stuff. I mean, there's obviously a lot of vocals too, but that's why we have the skip button. But uh, anyway, the chill station is great. Classic rock, I listen to every morning while I'm in the shower. So boom. Love it. John Lennon. Lennon. It sounded like I said Lennon. <laughs> That'd be funny. And Dubstep Radio. This is my car radio station. Oh, I love it. Let me find a different one. Obviously, there's no bass right here. But I love my Dubstep. And then occasionally, I'll play Sound System right there. The sound system. The yeah. sound of today. That's a little sound bite. There you go. And on the floor. Kind of like to get you pumped. I will survive. Major, major copyright right there. So anyway, there you go. Quick recap. My favorite stations on Apple Music. Dubstep Radio, Classic Rock, Chill, Sound System, and On the Floor. And occasionally, I'll tune in the Beats 1 radio. Occasionally. Right there. Yeah, that was Justin Bieber. Sorry, not a fan. It's not that I don't like Justin Bieber's music. I think people hate on him just because he's young and successful. I just don't like him because I don't think he sets a good example for today's youth with all the, the trouble he's been in. Now, you need to set a good example for the people listening to your music. Oh, hello, Mr. Squirrel. Okay, I'm not mad. That's my excitement. Like, oh, I'm finally figuring this stupid shit doesn't work for us. Yeah, you, you guys know it. Okay, maybe you do. I'm not, I'm not gonna go into detail right now. But the way the theme is set up is so freaking fragmented. And unfortunately, the people who designed it, I don't think they speak very good English. So when their support team got back to me, it was like gibberish. But I figured it out to an extent, and I'm going to do this. The software is quite powerful, but the way the user sees it, like for instance, the UX, user experience, is not that smooth. It could be so much better. But as long as the back end is powerful as hell, that's all I care about. Front end is... Whatever, the back end is powerful, and I love that. I just get so hyped. By the way, this is the first time the camcorder's been off the Pixie Mini in quite a while. I just wanted to sit you guys on top of my coffee maker, even if the exposure is downright terrible. But yes, today is a good day. I'm getting stuff done, which makes me quite happy. And I'm excited to stream No Man's Sky. It looks like I'm talking to my coffee maker. I'm not. I'm talking to you guys. You're quite low. All right, back on the tripod you go. By the way, I talked about it before, and I'm going to talk about it again. This is the best $25 any video creator 
can spend. Or a photographer. This tripod's amazing. I'll link it right below. Treat yourself. Seriously, it's 25 bucks. It's quite awesome. See, look at that. Much better. It's coffee time, guys. Second cup of the day. It's not so bad. And then I shall get more work done. I'm feeling hyped. I'm feeling motivated. I'm feeling inspired. These are my favorite kinds of days. Because again, I hate feeling unproductive. It's like the worst feeling in the world. I don't like being lazy. I don't. Let's play. Okay, it's gonna be a few minutes. We are currently traveling at very fast speeds right now thanks to the pulse drive. And I have 42 seconds to kill. So chat room, what up, what up? The stream keeps going in and out the quality. I don't know why it looks bad for me. But yeah, I've been kind of just traveling, hoping to find civilization. Nathan, what up? Autumn, how are you? Cybers, how are you? Or Cybers, sorry. Anthony, what up, dude? Hold on, let me slow this down. I gotta refuel. I eventually found fuel. It's been like a half hour since my last clip. And now I found this. This is probably my favorite part of No Man's Sky. Are right, you ready? Check this out. Revolutionary chair spinning action. Dear Lord. That is incredible. Just incredible. And look at that delay on Twitch. Come on, you can do it. Whew. Spin. Spin that chair. There you go. Spin it again. There you go. Good job. Good job. <laughs> I was probably watching like, what the hell is David doing? Chat room. And by the way, I was kidding obviously about this being my favorite part of No Man's Sky. It's a fun game. Repetitive, but it's, it's a very chill game. You get time to chat. Um, I'll be playing this later while working on that new website of mine, the new, the new project. Because I got to import a bunch of stuff, which takes a few minutes each time. Then between those minutes, I can travel from location to location. Bada bing, bada boom. It's a perfect kind of game for me to just, you know, relax on the couch. Anyway, chat room, I want to thank you for coming out tonight. I'm not signing off this very minute, but I am signing off in a few minutes. It's already 7.22. I'm going to make breakfast for dinner again soon. Shout out to Amy Crawford for commenting on a photo on Facebook. Boom. Look at this little guy. This is probably my favorite creature yet. I don't know. I feel like he has a great personality. Well, because for one, I went straight up to him and he didn't even flinch. He doesn't attack. He looks cool as hell. It's getting dark out too. I can't feed him like I can feed the other animals. He moves around a lot. All right. This is goodbye, little guy. I will name you though. I will name you Smokey. That was a successful stream. A lot of fun. And look what I named my planet because I'm so mature like that. Okay, so obviously Sony does not let you use bad words. So I named it this. Oh, David. Best name ever. Also, I named another planet this. At David Franco. This game is a lot of fun, guys. It really is. But for now, I must sign off. Thank you so much to everyone who watched tonight's stream. Go to defrancogaming.com, that's linked right below, to subscribe to either my YouTube or Twitch. I appreciate it. I try to stream once every week, usually on Thursdays around like five or six o'clock Eastern. And I think I will be streaming this again next week. It's just a lot of fun. It's fun. So guys, thank you so much for your support. It's breakfast time. Scrambled eggs, sausage, toast, love it. Maybe some pork roll, we'll see. I love breakfast meats. I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.